I have read, Will, that you have uh, this amazing amount of music that you haven't released, but tracks with extraordinary artists like Michael Jackson and Prince and people like that. Will you ever release those tracks? Uh, no, because, you know, especially artists like Michael Jackson, where working with Michael Jackson is his critique and his two cents. So, you know, without him guiding on completing it, it's not my right to to do that. He was a friend, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. And what was the story that you brought Michael Jackson and Prince yeah. to? Yes. <laughs> you, you brought Michael Jackson and Prince together. Yeah, so one time we had a show in, um, in Vegas, and Michael Jackson called. Hey, what's well, Michael? <laughs> okay, Mike. Yeah, so I heard you guys are doing a show tonight. But yeah, we're going at 9 o'clock. Oh, rats, so I got to put the kids to sleep. So I was like, well, we, I'm performing with Prince later on at 12. So anyways, Michael came to see me rock with Prince. And it was, an, it was a magnificent night to see. It was me, Chris Tucker, and then watching me, Chris Tucker, Michael Jackson, watching Prince rock on stage. Uh -huh. So to make a long story short, Prince steps off the stage and plays the bass in Michael Jackson's face. <laughs> Rips the freaking bass in 10 different pieces. Da -da 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 -da. Make a longer story shorter, Michael Jackson leaves and goes home and says, leave me in the house for breakfast. So I go to his house for breakfast, knock on the door. First words he says, why was Prince playing the bass in my face? What was your answer to that, though? Because he's like, oh, no, no, Prince, he's just being nice, you know? No, Prince, he's always been a meanie. <laughs> but bless their hearts, they were so passionate. And, um, you know, we've, we've lost a great musician. Yes, we really have that.